Hello everybody! Here we are, thanks to the Rafa Mumba Burstless uh, eBay, way, uh, eBay store because he sent me this brand new uh, flyer model due to the uh, warranty it's free I haven't to send back my ESC so I will thank him but that's why this video is supported by Rafa Mumba Burstless so, I can just advise you to contact him if you have any problem or have any question for him. You can also contact directly Flyer Model to uh, to have uh, to have some help because they are very available and they always answer you your question. Flyer is a great company, which is uh, the only one for the moment which propose ESC for more than 14s. For 12f, you have Z. TW with massive beast ESC. It's weight, but it's user friendly. It's working very well for sure. And at 14S, you have the MG in combo. It's a great combo, but heavy and very expensive. It's a huge quality. It's Dutch quality, I think so. And but it's very expensive. And for me. With the ESC, you can have ESC up to uh, 28S, I think so. But this one is for the price one of the best ESC I, I have. But you have some setting up to do to make it working well. So, first thing concerning, concerning the hardware, you receive it without any connectors. So, plan to buy your connectors with the ASC. Here you will plug the motor one and here you will plug the battery connectors. Here we have the plus of the ESC. Here we have the wire for the vent, for the cooling fan. Here we have the cable to program it because when you buy it you receive the USB dongle to go on the PC and with some soft available on the flyer download software you can program your ESC and make the update. You have two software to download. You have the flyer update software and the PCS to program it. Here we have the ESC connector for the receiver. Here we have the uh, anti spark connection. This is a wire with some resistor sold in it to avoid any spark. When you use huge voltage, you have a huge spark. We can destroy your ESC if you don't use it. So, for me, when you receive it, you have just to have do solder job, for sure. If you don't solder your connector, forget it or ask your friend to do it because you have a lot of job to do. First thing is to plug your connector. So, if you use ST, 19 for example you have to solder it with plus to the plus then put a wire to the plus then put a wire to the minus to the plus etc etc to arrive there ping to the minus I put a plugged called AC uh, 150 amperes because here the, the, the plug are very protect and avoid any unexpected contact to grind your sparked ear. So I put it on the black wire and the advantage is this is anti-spark also plug. So you have two systems but here we can now avoid or cut it, but I let it because it's it's more easier. So you on the first plug you will weld weld the both 
wire on the minus here and when you are plugged your motor plug here you will disconnect here you plugged all your battery and then you plugged the anti-spark one first and also then the always the big one here never in the other side okay so when you have finished all your one job it's always the most boring thing of the <laughs> of the of the job for me it's a welding but you have to do that when you are modeling you go to the software part the software part is as i said the update of the uh, esc the update of the esc is using the flyer update uh, software and the software on the list you have to choose a car because you are car they also made some esc for boat in in the um, airplane but you have to choose the model car 16s v uh, 5.1.1 or V51 only this software because this is a soft which uh, working well with the uh, car so you have to plug first your ESC to the computer you open the software sometimes the uh, communication both on the software is not working so unplug, replug uh, shut down your software, remote, sometimes it, uh, it takes some time, but it's always working. When you have the green flash, put the good and the right software on the this ESC. Then you close your flyer update 3.0 and you go to the second of software, which is the PSC. We can program all the, the, the setting point of this ESC. The thing to know is um, the ESC has automatic set point, so you never do the calibration point. Okay. On the PS the, on the PSC software, you can set the cutoff voltage. You can set set the punch mode. You can set the um, uh, frequency of the motor of the and the timing of the motor you can also set the braking force you can also set um, the power of the reverse etc etc but two things you have to know these things on the software concerning the it's work it's marking abs abs a braking force is not the abs the ABS is a like the real car. Uh, it's not the ABS, in ABS rocking, um, braking force, it's the brake force. And at uh, initial, it's 100% setting. Always put 50% is more than enough. Then sometime using some low KV motors, uh, it can be difficult you can it can be you have a problem because when you ask you push the trigger on the gas sometimes the, the motor doesn't work it doesn't fun, um, it doesn't make the rotation it's big sometimes you have some problem with the magnets and you have to go to the start mode the start mode is what is the setting is the power in the initial rotation of the motor as you Put the gas trigger. So sometimes we are to increase to ten or fifteen percent. It that means, and when you push the gas trigger, the initial rotation of the motor is ten percent of this maximal possible. That means the motor is going faster at initial uh, power and help to move the uh, base like that. So sometimes you have to really, really be careful when you set it and you have to test it, but it's always working, but sometimes it can be boring if you don't find the right setting, but you always find, you can ask me, you can ask to flyer, you can ask to Rafa Mamba Brussels. It's always um, asking you, answering the question. To program it, so you have the 
PC computer side, but you have also the programming box here, which is uh, useful when you are on the field. But sometimes uh, the programming box is very boring to set because each time you have to set one parameter, this plug, replug, another parameter, replug, replug. Sometimes it's not very working very well, but it's working, it's very long. Sometimes I prefer to bring back my PC and make all the settings in once and test it and groove it. So, this thing is very, very interesting for the large square part of our job. And uh, for me, it's a very great company with a very good support, but you have to know that this is not a plug and play. You have really to set, test your setting, your um, programming uh, value, etc., etc. Don't forget to if you use the anti spark or don't forget to cut it and bring a new plug here the anti spark is here with a resistor in it and other side and don't forget to weld together this thing to the first minus point of your ESC of your battery connectors, enfin, ESC battery connector, not the battery. And for me, it's very a chance to uh, to when you have two hundred dollars here, ESC to go to twelve S, twenty S, for example, on the E R five model MCD, and I'm very very glad to. They, they exist just exist because that's for the price it give you give us a chance to have a great value and great great pleasure with this great great uh, model so thank you for your support thank you rafa for your support thank you lisa of, of, from flyer for your support and don't forget if you have any question please contact them or me for the esc it's a great value just be careful and to using the good anti-spark plug here and use it with careful because when you have 20 s so that mean uh, more than 80 volt it could be good spark and sometimes it could be damage your esc so i'll be thank to rafa mamba thank them for this uh, support thank bye bye ciao, ciao.